Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Narc Raven today. Yes, you heard it right. That thing is a great support mech for everyone who wants to pair up with some missile carriers, and it actually can deal some serious damage on the way down the road of victory. So that was a request from one of my patrons on Patreon, because I still had that survey open where I was asking for mech builds that you wanted to see, and one of you was like, hey, I want to see the Narc Raven, and I want to have some fun with it. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So we take the Raven 3L, because that's the one with the Narc Quirk. It has an extended range, IS Narc Beacon range of plus 100, and that's the thing that we're going to be using today. We also have higher missile velocity and less missile cooldown, so we can do that quite often. Although, you don't necessarily need to do that. The mech is built with, obviously, a Narc on the left side here. You could have also put that on the uh, on the right side torso. However, I wanted that on an arm, so I can also tilt it up and down, and I have a bit more mobility and better aim with that. I also run the Guardian ECM that allows us to sneak behind the enemy's lines and then narc the enemies and tag them for destruction. And yeah, that's pretty pretty helpful for you know not getting seen, not getting targeted, being insignificant, being not a priority for the enemy in a brawl. And it also helps you uh, when you are in the brawl to counter the enemy's uh, sensors and locks. And that's super good. We also have an XL engine 225. I wanted that because 100 kph is, I think, good enough for it. It also allows us... It's a, like a relatively low engine rating for a Raven like that. But it also allows us to take a large laser and two ear medium lasers so that we actually have a little bit of firepower. 19 to be more specific. And that is basically the build. The rest is two tons of ammo. Although you could probably get away with only one and a half tons. Or maybe even one ton if you are very careful with your narking. And um, yeah, the rest is just heat management so that we can actually shoot over an extended period of time. That's a support narc, Raven. And um, for that, we don't really have much firepower. And because of that, I was trying to get every single cooldown point as possible. I wanted to go for as, um, you know, as many of them as possible, since I want to be able to shoot my 19 damage over and over and over and over again. So I can actually also deal some damage while narking. I also went for survivability, but those were just some leftover points that I invested into armor and skeletal density on the right side here, because my priority was, first of all, um, the enhanced ECM nodes. I wanted seismic sensor. I gotta be aware of enemies that are trying to close distance when I'm in my behind the enemy's lines position. And then, because I'm a support mech, I was like, okay, let's get the UAV double and the artillery strike double. And I also wanted the NARC uh, bonus here because that one gives us higher velocity, which is so helpful, and it also gives us a higher duration of the NARC. So getting the auxiliary tree almost maxed out is kind of weird looking, but, you know, it's, it's good. We don't need... By the way, we don't need operations because we won't be, um, you know, firing that often and that many weapons and that means we are not generating that much heat. Sure, sometimes you are getting to the high cap of your, of your heat threshold, but then you just take a little bit of a cooldown period and then you go in again. You don't necessarily need that, although it's, it's nice to have. But anyway, guys, that's the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Grimplexes and we are playing a Skirmish. All right, so enemies will be coming from the hotel line, like this line here, okay. and they will probably end up in the gold fade area. I want to try to get behind them and I try to want to get some early locks and have a good time with that. Uh, worst case scenario is we're going to just shoot them with our lasers. We have about 500 meters range, so this is kind of my nominal fighting distance. Our NARC has a range of 687, so... I shouldn't try to shoot beyond 600, honestly, because it's really hard to hit. And you know what? I want to push over here. And the reason why is that I can break line of sight by staying in the low ground and sneak upon the enemies while doing so. So a PPC. All right, all right, all right. Watching this side here carefully because enemies will be there soon-ish. Please don't follow me, friends. I really hope they are not. Ah! Got him. Got a linebacker. He's narked. Go crazy, guys. Go nuts! Uh, that is a that is a Lerm linebacker. Let's get out of here. Let's back up. And I hope my friends are actually doing something with what I just provided. I don't know if I hit that. No, I didn't. No, 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 no. That was just a very bad snapshot. But anyway, let's try again. He's there. That's a narc. Narc the catapult. The guy is double AMS, but go for it. 
I don't see missiles in the sky. Everybody was like, hey, I got missiles. Can somebody hold locks? I'm like, yeah, I'm the one. I have NARC and I want to use that. Worst case scenario is, I mean, we are kind of kind of pinning the enemies down where they are. When they are getting narc, they're like, uh-oh, I need to kind of let that wear out. Uh, let's refresh the catapult real quick. All right, dealing a little bit of damage. There's also a, what? Narked? Uh, Jaguar? I mean, I didn't need to narc that guy. He's basically rushing in? Why is he doing that? What was that all about? I don't understand. What? All right, suicide, suicide. All right, let's go and kind of refresh the narc even more. Okay, he got cover. Anybody else? I can hit. Fafnir. Oh, I did not hit him. Or maybe I hit him and there's some ECM around him as well. Uh, yeah, he has some other ECM dudes around him. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's stay in low ground. And... I'll try again. But yeah, there's... I don't know, maybe I'm just not hitting. Hi. Man, I'm taking so many risks here. And nothing is really evolving around that. Again. There we go, finally! Got the Fafnir arced. Uh, you guys are really... Oh, that is why nobody is following up. Everybody's fighting on the other side of the battlefield. Hi. 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 Uh, you know what? I'll drop artillery here. It's not the best shot, but hey, let's just try. Yeah, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so, we are actually on the front line. Nobody is really using my narcs, which is a bit sad. Because, again, there was a lot of asking for it uh, earlier. Got the wolf out narked. I mean, I got everyone narked. Narc, narc. This is coming from the outskirts. There's a UAV above us, not anymore. <sighs> Strikes coming down. Okay, let's back up from this. And guys, I invested so much of my mech into this fight already without really getting anything done. It's kind of frustrating when you really, when you don't really have damage, when you're kind of relying on support things, and you just don't, don't get it. Knock the timber wolf, please. He's a one shot, literally. We just need some missiles on him. Maybe our missile carrier is dead already. Maybe that was the guy who died early on. I don't know. I don't know, I don't dare looking. Oh, Jenner, get narked. <laughs> Come on? Maybe? I don't know. Let's go in and try to kill the Timber Wolf. Hey, I knocked another guy, but he is in, in ECM cover. Seriously. Okay, 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 okay. I will pop my UAV here, get the high ground again, or at least I try. There's a guy behind us, okay? And then we're gonna try to flank, and hopefully we are not getting killed by anybody. Yep, that's, uh, that's the thing that's happening right now. Lights are pushing up behind us in Foxtrot 7. The Timber Wolf is a literal one-shot. Hey, we even got the kill, cool. Now, since the narking is not really working, and the working is not narking... Oh, what, what was that shot? I don't know. Let's keep the legs in... No, I actually hit him! I hit him! I hit him! I hit him. I hit him. Everything is awesome. Except for my legs. Wow, we got 11 shots left. That's a good UAV, I gotta say. Got it. And... Catapult, left and right side. And then there's an adder. He knocked him! Come on, get that adder. Light mech next to me. It's an urban mech. Ooh, this urby is gonna wreck me. Let's get out of here. Light mech's Fox 6. Uh, sorry, Fox 7. Fox 7 is hot. On the Jenner, helping out a bit. So, nar wanted to say narc him, but that doesn't make sense here. It's that guy. He is standing there. Okay, I'm gonna benefit on that. Yeah, he's maybe just AFK or whatever. Sorry, man. You were just for a second standing still like that. That's not how you do it. That's not how you live, man. Another UAV. Let's take it down. It's good for match score. It's really good for match score. Try to get it. Whenever there is a lone UAV and you have nothing better to do, go for it. Unless there's a fight. I mean, if there is a fight happening, go for the kills. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> oh, please no. Please no. Uh-huh. Make him uncomfortable. Go for the side here. Got him. Perfect. Component destruction. Seven narcs left. 
Mm, nine and six. I don't think it's over yet. Oops, sorry. I was a bit too eager there. Let's get that Nar kill. That's so good. Oh, yeah. And six more Narcs. And we're gonna use them on the Assassin or whatever that was. And have a good time. Or maybe not. It's a quick draw with large powers. But he stands still now. Because he knows that he cannot do anything anymore without weapons. Let me Narc him. Thank you. And then we're gonna go for it. And we even get the kill. Yay. <laughs> Wow, what a game. Nobody really shot me in the late game because, you know, they had different targets, higher priority targets, they left the Raven alone, and as a result, we could do whatever we wanted to. That 490 damage with three lasers only. Holy crap. However, let me take a look. We got two killing blows, nine assists, we got seven components, we got UAV kills, UAV lock damage, UAV detection, scouting, flanking, NAR kill, only one. Hmm. Uh, hit and run, lands, information. All of these things, they add up so much and it results in so much C builds. It's not even first day, first game of the day bonus? No, first victory of the day is only applied to XP. So anyway, 455,000 C builds and the match score is 472. On a light mech like that, that's pretty good. Guys, that was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Forest Colony. And I think... Oh yeah, I think I want to be in the flanks of the enemies. Um, my team is probably going to go to the Hotel 9 area. Or are they? I don't know. Are they? Maybe they're going to the Golf 9 area. That might also be the case. Are you going to Golf 9 or Hotel 9? Let me know, let me know, let me know. I don't want to be destroyed. So I need to adjust my positioning. This is the best song in the world. <laughs> I'm going wild for going to Golf 9. Like... Okay, people like to go to the Golf 9 area. I see, I see, I see. We have some people here. Somebody disconnected. I mean, it's a benefit for us. Sorry, enemies. But I think I have to have some people around. Also, this guy's already getting shot at. Uh, he got the missile warning that I could see on his, uh, you know, chevron there. Okay, let's be, let's be a bit careful. Actually, it's going all the way around. Okay. Uh, this is scary, guys. This is very scary. Let's stay on the water line a little longer. Oh my god, it's like everybody. That's a lot of stuff that they have there. Seems like they are defending. Seems like they are defending a lot. So I don't really want to expose myself too much. And therefore I'll try to stay in the low ground as much as possible. Just peeking around. Just trying to find an opportunity. Finding an opening. Finding an enemy that I can narc. And then help out my team with it. This seems very much like base defense. Absolutely. Which is kind of interesting. Because not many people are doing that. Everybody's usually just rushing to the front. And trying to have a good time with NASCAR and stuff. But hey, I appreciate it. That's good. That's really good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll leave it there. Let me go ahead and pop a UAV on this corner. Seeing if there's anybody around here still. Before we go any further. We can go. Nobody's here. So let's attack the base. Because that's what we are here for. The scout behind the enemy's lines. Alright. That's the base. That's the enemies. <laughs> Hello! Oh, let's get out of here. Move! Move! Ah! Scary! Scary, scary, scary. Found them, Hotel 6, everybody. Like, everybody. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's get out of here. They are balling up and defending, so prepare for a nice firing line situation there. Holy crap, we are still alive. Okay, artillery. Defensive artillery. Uh, can we get the Vulcan, Charlie? That would be good. He's narked. Get him, boys! Get him! Oh my god, that was so scary. <laughs> I can't believe that we are still alive, guys. That is so insane. So we have a narc. That's the good news. Okay, we got the grass up. I also narked. I mean, that's 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 really helpful. I want to believe that I am helpful. I think I was helpful. The Vulcan is without weapons, so... Oh my god, and we have a good chunk of lurms here. Which means we're gonna keep going. We're gonna rena. Oh wait, never mind. We are not renarking him. However, I mean he's still narked, and so is the uh, is the Atlas. So let's keep going. Let me shoot him a bit more. We can. Atlas is narked. If you want, get him. Also, there's a grasshopper narked. I also wanted to renark here. Uh, let's do it. That should have hurt. 
Or hit, not hurt, but hit. What's the Atlas doing? It's not doing anything currently. There's also an adder, no, an archer. An archer left of us. There's something here. Uh, more, there was more than an archer. There was something here. Well, let's take that hill. That's a good hill. That's my hill now. There are many hills, but this one is mine. Okay. Narc the grasshopper again. Oh, the missiles are flying. I like it. And this is the guy I saw earlier, the shadow cat, that I was mildly afraid of. It was a miss. Big miss there. Man, our ECM is also hope helping out, not hoping out. We have a vault oh my god, look at the missiles! <laughs> so good! Narc him! Yeah, I got him! I got the Matok. Perfect. I can't get him, my range isn't that good. Okay, we are two and one. This is already looking pretty good. And you are not narked. You are now. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Nova Cat. Push over and take your side torso. They are running. Keep uh, up the pressure, guys. They are running away from us. On the left side in the hotel line. Another narc on the grasshopper. <laughs> Everybody's narc. We still have 14 missiles, so let's go for it. Another narc. Why not? I mean, he's probably dead by now. And he is. We even got the kill. I would say. Well deserved. Alright, let's go for this. Another narc on the big guy. Trying to take cover here, obviously. And we cool down a bit. Yup. And then we go in again. Yeah, they got me. We have ECM active. These guys are not getting any locks on us. Not at all. However, they are kind of pushing into our right side. Um, I need to cool a bit more. Oh, no, Atlas. Oh, almost. Almost. Let me try. Uh, never mind, so we're gonna adjust our shot. We're gonna re -narc the Thunderbolt, or knock it in the first place. And then he is nice destroyed! That AC-20 shot, or whatever that was to my center torso, was quite scary. Oh, oh I don't, well, don't fit through here, sorry. Nice! Oh my god, the missiles. I love that the missiles were actually flying here. Alright, so the Centurion is getting killed. Nobody has to go there, because, I mean, we have a Yen Lo Wang against an Arctic Wolf. Arctic Wolf is gonna kill that guy. However, there's one enemy on the board still. Like, where is it? Do we just capture or do we try to find the last guy? I mean, in order to make the, the game a little bit faster... He's at base. Oh, yeah, he's at base. <sighs> alright, 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 alright. I'm gonna go back to base. Although... No, I won't. I won't. There's a chance that he will capture the base. The chance is not big, but, you know, I'm gonna... Uh, out cap with my capture the cap friend here, and we like did enough, guys. This is already good, and we also get some capture assists, which, as a result, will result in a higher match score in the end. It is getting us more than moving to the uh, to our base, trying to get a shot on this guy, and maybe not even succeeding with that. So instead, we're gonna stay here and get these sweet, sweet capture bonuses that are actually below. Last one's at our base. Below. Never mind, we got him. Yeah, I wouldn't have uh, arrived in time. So. Smart choice for getting up the tiers. <laughs> oh, that was cool. That was really cool. I really liked that my team was having so many missiles here. And uh, we are getting a good chunk of um, money out of this here. So let's take a look. We got a good chunk of UAV lock damage, countered ECM, even got the killing blow. What about narc kills? We didn't get any narc kills. What? Really? Anyway, that was helpful, guys, and our match score shouldn't be too bad. Uh, 384 is quite sizable, with 478 damage dealt. By the way, uh, what was the number here? Two kill most damage dealt, one killing blow, eight assists, and so on. Thank you, guys. That was cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and you can also support me on Patreon. The link is down below in the description, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.